This is a Danvos Flymaster uh, 6 and chartreuse, really nice and bright. This is mainly for the head, just to shiny, make the head really shiny. Now what I'm going to do here is put down a layer of thread all the way along. Now I'm going to stop it in line with the point. You could take it a wee tad further if you wish, but that's far enough. And then I'm going to remove the base piece. Now if you wonder what this here is, this is Cobbler's Wax. Cobbler's wax is it's basically when it's cold, it's really brittle. Now the reason, that I have two reasons I like it here, is basically my finger keeps it warm, and if I want to wax the thread, I just run it along. Wax makes everything nice and tight. Now all I'm going to do here is I'm going to tie, tie in the rib. In this case it's chartreuse, UTC. Here we are, it's the small in this case, chartreuse. Uh, nice colour, nice and bright. For the body, I'm going to use this is Mirage tinsel, Opal Mirage. Again, there we are, for UTC. You want the large because it covers much better, quicker. Just tie it on. Now, to really boost the colour, you could add an under. This here, again, this is Chartreuse Holographic. This is from Vineyards. It's a wide or a large holographic tinsel. It's an excellent colour. Just new in the market the last year or two. You could use it as itself, or in this case I'm using it as an under colour, which does shine through the mirage. Now you take your thread, touch and turns back up. Now I'm going to cut it. Now you've got to get the, the length correct here, the area where you're going to tie in the wing and the hackle and so on, jungle cock. Basically you need round about, say, 4 mil, uh, 4 mil area. Then all the way up. Make sure you wax the thread the areas, especially where you're tying in and where you're tying, say so basically tying off, basically the head area and where you're coming up with the tin, so you need to tie it in much tighter if you do that. And then bring your chartreuse holographic tinsel up first. Cross your thread two or three turns to make sure it's secure. Take away your excess. Again, bring your tinsel up or your opal mirage. Now sometimes I like to put like a super glue underneath. You can do that. It makes for a much stronger fly. I would say, especially when you've got a lot of kilts, sometimes early in the season, you tend you need to do all the protection you can get. And if you secure that with much stronger, a bit more wax onto your thread. Nice bed, uh, a nice layer of thread down which has got the wax on it. Couple of turns at the back with the wire and then bring it up through. Nice and tight. Bring it upside the thread to a 90 degree bend into the wire, which is much stronger if you do that. And it's important that you actually tie this in. The, the wire is basically holding your body together. Take your thread back down and bend and break the wire off. Now, there's a couple of ways I like to tie this fly. Now, I've got two examples here. Now, one I call the Temple Dog version. Just drop that one in the floor, so I'll pick this one here. It's a smaller size, but you see if you're underneath it, the fly is exactly the same. Basically, the only difference is I've added some uh, basically yellow fox round just to bulk it up a wee bit. The one I'm tying is this one, it's the basic one. You can see the slight difference it makes with the yellow. That's the only difference is the yellow fox is there, it's a fluorescent yellow. And it boosts it and it's certainly worth trying uh, having both flies. So, at this time I'm leaving it though. Now, you could put the hackle on it at this point, but I like to do it this way. Get your chartreuse bucktail. It's a nice chartreuse. Nice and bright. You clear it, you can stack it if you want, or you can just line up the ends, which I'm doing. Now, you're looking at least something like twice the length of the fly. 
Now you could trim, catch this. Trim at the length of the head, it's much easier sometimes to do that. Wax, make sure your thread's waxed, and then tie it down, nice and tight. A wee bit of flash in the wing, this is your Mirage Opal crystal flash. Three strands is plenty. Now I like to stretch it slightly, just makes it, in my view, sit better. We stretch into it, get the length you would like, full length of the bucktail. Three or four thumbs down, fold it back, trim away the excess. Now I've got a, it's a Chinese cock hackle, you could use quite a few hackles, I mean there's, you could use uh, basically a Metz or a good size Magnum whiten or something like that. But this is just a Chinese tying chartreuse. Now I'm going to tie it in the tip, take the thread down, making sure you wax the thread, pull back the tip, break it off, drop more wax, and then I draw back the fibres and do one turn in front of the other. Keep it nice and tight, just wind it round. Make sure it's nice and nice and straight. Hold it. Bring your fingers round and catch the tip of the hackle. Wind it to get enough and then bring your thread up the side. 90 degree bend into the, the stem. Trim away the excess. Make sure we drop more wax. Nice and tight. Down and back up. Just making a nice surface for your for your wing. And there we are. Now for the, the black part of the wing, I'm using a dyed black. This is Arctic Runner. Uh, it's very popular here. Again, it's a Venier product. Now, just remove some from the skin. Now cut it close, right at the skin itself. Don't cut it halfway up. Now, this is where you can have the length to suit yourself. If you want more to taper into your fly, I mean, it's got a taper, natural taper here or there anyway. Some of the longer guard hairs. Now, you can have them just slightly by. But the length of the, the Arctic Runner probably in from between halfway to three quarters. And this time I'm just going to catch it on the top. Nice and tight. Three or four turns to make sure it's not going to move. Now it's important at this point you wax your thread. Take it down. This will give you all the grip that you ever need. Nice and tight. Just build your head up. I said the chartreuse thread as well is for colour, so don't be shy. Now I'm just kind of creasing it slightly so it lowers the, the wing a wee bit. Now the eye, I'm going to put jungle cock eyes on it. Now don't be shy with the length of the eye. I like a good eye, meaning a good length, jungle cock. Now there's different ways of tying in jungle cock. Now if you look here there's two black areas. There's a glossy area halfway in the middle and at the tip. It's times don't tie on them because they'll cause the fibres to split. If you can tie on the black area, that's like a fine velvet and it gives you a lot more grip and control over the jungle cock. And another way of doing it as well is not to remove the fine fibres that run up the kind of badger-like fibres because again they act like a cushion and then you can control the jungle cock much better. Now I'm going to tie in this black area, the first black area as it comes up the feather. Both the same length, I like to tie them in together. Just hold them, I'm not going to remove any of the fibres. But what I'm going to do is make sure that they're sitting up into the wing and both are the same length. Because at this point you can actually move them around before you do any more. And there we are, the two eyes sitting nice. Now. And with the wax, give yourself plenty of grip. Get it nice and straight. Fold these back. 
bring the thread to the front and work your thread from the front up and over the stems of the jungle cock. And just at this point, just concentrate, shaping your head. Come back in every so often, maybe drop wax. And again, you'll find that it sticks and sits much better. Now, just before the end, I don't wax the thread. There is a good bed of wax there. And now, I want the brighter chartreuse colour to show through. So, I'll go down and wind the, the clean thread over the wax. This will make a brighter head. And then, once you're happy, come in and put finish. Nice and tight. Take away the thread. Now you could break these off, which I'm going to do, because some break off much easier than others. Now that shows you how tight you get with the, the wax thread. It's much easier to do. And then, super glue first the head, and then varnish. Take the thread to your, all the way around. There's a wee gap or a wee hole in there or space. Just make sure you put something in there. And then another two coats of varnish. And that's this version of the posh tosh finished. You see it's a lovely colour. You can see it will work, certainly work. Once that's in the water, you get a lovely, like a nice teardrop shape. And I'm just going to put a wee bit of moisture on here just to give you an idea of the shape. Pull your thread in. Now that's your taper and your teardrop shape, and that's what you want in a fly. Because if you have a teardrop shape, you've got more resistance at the front and less at the back. So if there's less at the back, and then it swims like a small fish, it wiggles better, swims much better. But anyway, that's posh tosh, slight variant of it. Fly certainly worth having in your box. <laughs>